Taurus. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome if you're new to the channel. My name is Christine. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Taurus Tarot reading. Taurus, the Hermit card. Just wanted to be your first card here in the reading today. Virgo and Mercury energy. So a validation for me of the separation here between you. But I'm also wondering what the person who is coming through here today is up to. Because somebody's in here spending some time alone, getting some clarity, truth, and getting ready to turn the wheel of fortune. Let's see what's going on. Okay, <laughs> Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Virgo tarot reading. Virgo, love tarot reading. Virgo, love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Virgo love messages, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Their feelings for you, your feelings for them, What's on everyone's mind? Is anyone making a move? Let's take a look at who and what is coming in, the energy coming in. It's the Chariot and the Knight of Wands. Well, 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 this is pretty obvious that somebody is on the move. Is this in person? Is this via message, phone call? What is it? I, I do think somebody's getting ready to spin that Wheel of Fortune. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, your energy is there as well. And Aquarius, making some kind of move. What is it? We have our Knight of Wands here, who, yeah, is just really going for it, holding on to their wand. Look, it's wrapped up in a vine. Some change happening because of this, of course. The fire is lit. Two fires are lit, actually the chariot, cancer, and moon energy. So something is definitely about to change here around the emotional energy, the moons. Something coming to light, dark to light energy. Are we heading into the, into the sun energy? Is something going to get resolved here, revealed here? Definitely communication, whether... You can see each other in person. That's going to be real specific to you. Taurus, this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. It's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. All your playlists are linked below in the description. Taurus, your zodiac readings, as well as the playlist tab on the channel. Actually, you'll find all 12 <laughs> zodiac signs there. You'll also find collective tarot readings, collective love readings, all signs tarot readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, I do take really deep dives into the twin flame journey and offer twin flame readings. So feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Let's take a look at this energy that continues to come in. Taurus. Whoa, yeah. This is your energy. It's the Empress. And it's coming here with the Eight of Wands. Here we go. Somebody is definitely wanting to. Are they reaching out? It sure feels like it. Getting out of that Hermit energy and that Knight of Wands. Coming with the Chariot here now with the Empress. The Empress is your energy, Taurus. Also bringing through Libra. Venus, the ruling planet for you both. And the Empress is connected to the heart chakra. A lot of healing energy here. Somebody's coming in to speak the truth. A lot of emotions, I want to say, on the table. Somebody who possibly, yeah, probably, most likely has been emotionally unavailable and hiding them. This is somebody coming in and opening up. Of course, the Empress has... All those beautiful resources, access to water, air, earth, and fire, the leader of all 12 signs, can create and grow anything here. 
And as you can see, she's heading here or right in front of or in the midst, I guess you could say, of a whole lot of mushrooms which are regenerative. After, after something has happened to the ground, Mother Earth, fire, and the smoke is cleared, embers are cooled, time has passed, the first things that grow are mushrooms, regenerative. And then you can see what else is coming up. You know, what was there that didn't belong there? What's growing that you didn't know was there that was wonderful? Holding on to the scepter, power of life. Getting ready to start, grow, create divine feminine energy, divine number, divine timing. And it's coming here with the Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius energy. Of course, Mercury around communication, oftentimes tied to reading and writing. So really strong validation of an SMS, email, social media. But of course, how do you normally communicate with this person? Because it, we could be looking at phone call, a voice message. Are you able to see them in person? Okay, thank you so much, Taurus, for liking today's video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, to the Tarot Closet. Thank you for sharing videos. Yeah, thank you for being here today. I appreciate you so much. Let's continue on and see what else is coming through. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us what else Taurus needs to see. Aho. It's the Ten of Swords. Mm, the Devil card, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Emperor, definitely wanting to get out of the shadow and this ego. Look at this, the Devil card right here in the partnership placement connected to the Ten of Swords, the Sun in Gemini. So the end of this cycle, can't get any more. You can't get any more in and it's a validation of what's been going on. No contact, no communication and or in separation. A very painful ending. We are getting out of this cycle. This is a new cycle here. So getting out of this cycle literally. And of course the devil card is here in the partnership placement on the opposite end of our emperor here, Mars and Aries energy in the upright energy. So somebody definitely not only getting out of some ego, but I... Yeah, this, this, I have to say this is feeling a little bit obsessive. This is definitely somebody who is coming in to connect. How are they connecting? Well, I feel like they're wanting to come back together. Getting on that chariot, our, of course, our Knight of Wands, ready to go, jumping on the chariot. Our Emperor, who pretty much likes to get their way, <laughs> our leader, our cardinal sign here. And... Holding on to that Ankh, so divine masculine energy, and let's not forget that we just saw the Empress. The Empress and the counterpart to the Empress, the Emperor now, so both of you. And a validation of the person who's coming through here today of getting into a balanced energy, coming out of shadow, coming out of ego, the divine feminine, divine masculine, and we're going to get that in a moment, <laughs> that card there energy in balance and a validation here as they hold on to the yang, the yin yang energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So this person is definitely getting out of shadow, getting out of ego and making plans here, heading in your way. It's really clear. And that's the other thing, the empress and the emperor. It's a sign for me. You're both here. You're both here. It's not about gender. But I'll tell you what, there's some strong energy. There's definitely that stubborn energy that we know and love you for, Taurus. And yeah, coming kind of from everybody, there's just been some intensity, like things need to go a particular way. I mean, look what is here underneath the hermit, where this energy has been, where this person has been getting clarity. The hermit connected to the third eye chakra. I see. I mean, they're even hold, look what they're holding on to here. They're definitely getting ready to move into that wheel of fortune energy and communicate. 
And the emperor is connected to the root chakra. And when that is centered, it's getting centered, balanced, realigned. Better decisions are made. Decisions are actually made. There's getting out of the shadow and the fear and the ego that have been around the heart chakra, which we also saw in the empress. Opening up communication, so clearing the throat chakra. Just working their way up, not being afraid of the future. Because this is somebody who I think has been here in shadow in ego, making not so great decisions, clearly. And them being on the move is also incredibly clear. Okay, yeah, look, look where the magician in reverse is. It's right here with the devil energy. This is around ego. This is around their ego. However, like I said, there's also some, I am feeling some obsessive energy here today, like somebody's coming, you know, it's no questions <laughs> sort of energy. We're going to talk about the magician in reverse, but before we do, yeah, the Ace of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy in here with the, um, excuse me, the Hermit energy. You know, getting clarity in here, getting some truths because somebody made a bad decision. Been stuck in their head. Fear, shadow, and ego around what decision was made here. Was there some dishonesty here? It's obviously connecting to what's on their mind. And it's obviously connecting to the Ten of Swords here, to how you got here in the first place. The Three of Pentacles. Okay. Caddy Corner here with our Ten of Swords, Six of Wands. Yeah, a really strong validation of reaching out. They want to get your attention. Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy. It's a teamwork energy. It's coming together energy. Everybody needs to show up, you know. Somebody's not here. It's not really working. You know, it's not reciprocal. It's somebody who wants to work this out. It's coming together. And the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. Yeah, <laughs> more validation of our Knight of Wands, our Chariot, and our Eight of Wands that somebody here really wants to get your attention. If you can see this person, it's really clear that there is travel involved and that there may be other people around. But I know not everybody can see everybody. You know, it's not in person for everyone. Okay. So as you can see, my gosh. It's a validation of not being honest. So that's definitely very, very clear. Connecting right to our emperor. Also here, connecting with the Ace of Swords in reverse, with the dishonesty, with the bad decision, with the Three of Cups in reverse. So there's there was definitely lying here. I don't know if it's the last time you talked or just kind of maybe how things got where they are because connected also to the devil is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which is also connected to the Ace of Swords in reverse. So bad decisions, not being honest. Is there some, does somebody here have some kind of vice? A, a energy connected, you could say, to money, things that overconsumption. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Because it's, it is connected to the Ten of Swords, to the ending. It's connected to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So you could say, yeah, like things not moving anymore. Mercury in Virgo energy. The long term, the commitment coming to a stop. Like some breakup energy, some conflicting energy. And also with the Ace of Swords. So it's, the connection is really strong what happened here. And by the way, the Magician in reverse, Gemini and Virgo energy, somebody who kind of, you could say, threw it away. I mean, it's right here with the Ten of Swords. It's wasting the resources. So had you not reached the potential in your partnership, had you got to a particular point and something happened in terms of, yeah, I mean, could this be for some of you legal trouble? Yeah. Justice in reverse. Somebody lying about 
something around legal trouble, perhaps another karmic situation, other people. It's something within this devil energy. Again, you could say bad behavior or just, yeah, in, in some shadow energy, doing some things that are not great, okay? The ego is definitely here. We can see that. But I feel like I feel like that's more tied to the not communicating Taurus. But of course, you know, it can also be connecting to some of whatever, whatever got you here. I mean, it's just really, really clear. Were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Something obviously happened and it's connected right to the devil, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords in reverse, not being honest. And then here's justice. Pretty darn strong validation. And it's justice in reverse. Libra energy, Venus, the planet of love. And justice is connected to the heart chakra. That sword here, it's transactional energy, clarity and truth and information. It's definitely the lack of that. And again, could be for some of you around some kind of legal troubles. But I'll tell you, look at that imbalance here. The yin-yang energy, truth, lack of that, lack of balance, right here in the Justice card. Connected to our Three of Cups in reverse, Mercury and Cancer energy. So whether this last communication was in person or was around other people, somebody here, and by somebody I mean the person that's coming through, the Queen of Wands in reverse was not being honest. There may have been some discord for some of you. It's a really strong validation of other, for those of you that this is something that kind of went down in person, that there were other people around, maybe even involved. But it's also not going to be for everyone, of course, that it was in person, but it's definitely around the communication. And we saw our empress coming in here with the chariot and our emperor. And we're also seeing here, look, our our Knight of Cups connecting with the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Somebody here wants to work this out. There should be an apology coming through. Let's get a validation of that, definitely. And I'm expecting it to be <laughs> here in our Knight of Cups cup. Is there something else here as well? Knight of Cups, Scorpio and Pluto energy. It's our Princess, Prince Charming energy, proposals which can be around, of course, really big proposals. I'm not really seeing marriage per se. However, it could even be that was connected to something that happened here for some of you, like the putting that being a possibility, or maybe you were heading in that direction because it kind of threw everything away here. You know, the, the magician in reverse energy. And it's you can see it right here with the Ten of Swords, with the Devil card, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. But our emperor, our empress is our emperor and our empress are here, and their energy is getting balanced. They're out getting out of shadow, getting out of ego, and making a move toward you. Again, whether it's in person or there's a message, phone call, that sort of thing. That eight of wands, again, Mercury, really connected to reading and writing, but how do you normally communicate with this person? Our cardinal sign, our leader, our emperor likes to get their way and they're in a different energy. So this is the other thing. They're coming in an emotionally available way. I do feel like there's a sincere apology, but they're also coming back for more. This does not feel like it's, yeah, look, wish fulfillment, the nine of cups, that it's just an apology. You can see that there's an apology that's necessary. So the Nine of Cups is here, Jupiter and Pisces energy, wish fulfillment. We are one cup shy of the Ten of Cups. Had you built a life together, were you building it? Was it on the table? And it can be around, of course, building the li a life when you think of it as a family, maybe your housing and all of that. But we could also be looking at going exclusive or introducing to families, blending families. The wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, again, there is an apology in this cup, but is there something more here? And is it also the wish fulfillment energy for you of hearing from this person, which is really incredibly strong? Yeah. 
Yes, that... No, I don't think that's yours. Okay. It's not, but look, here's the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, this is really, really clear. It's the communication. The Chariot, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Wands, the King of Swords, the Emperor. I mean, the Emperor is making this happen. Gemini, and it's just revealing something here. Okay, Four of Pentacles in reverse is what it wanted to reveal. Gemini and Mercury energy. This is somebody who's been thinking about what they want to say for a long time. There's a lot of, there's been a lot of thought behind it. So it can be if this is in person, there's some strategy around it, maybe showing up to something. Again, if there's an event you know they're going to be at or they could be at, it's highly likely they may be talking to other people to kind of try to coordinate some things. But definitely communication here. This is incredibly clear. Again, <laughs> there has to be an apology in there. There's the lover's card. And perhaps more. The moon. The knight of swords. So they have a lot to say. The queen of pentacles in reverse. Oh, the knight of swords again. Wow, it's like both of you being here. And again, it's not about gender. This deck has a princess and a prince of swords. This is the knight of swords energy, and they're both here. And what the lover's card is here. The moon is here. So we're going to talk about this in a moment because, look, well, I guess here we go. It's like in between you. We, we have the empress coming in. The emperor is here. We have our princess swords and prince swords. Again, it's not about gender. It is a balance, again, energy around this person has a lot to say and they're going to say it and they know they need to say it. And it's literally time to say it. Six of Swords, Mercury, and Aquarius energy. That Mercury energy, again, around the communication. And it's deep. Look, it's going into this water. So it's like an emotionally kind of charged energy. It's a deep emotional conversation. This person has definitely done some things and I want to say said some things around, again, a, there's some dishonesty here. So did they say something or is it truth by omission? It's literally time to talk. And again, truth's coming out, truth's being revealed, communication. They have a lot to say. They, I, I kind of have this feeling that they need to explain themselves. Yeah. <laughs> This energy of restoring harmony and healing together, literally, look at this, the communication between you and both of you on um, both of you wanting this conversation, you know, this is like, but you both have a lot to say and things that this conversation is going to change everything. Of course, also connected to, to the chariot, to the empress, there is a sincere honesty coming through here and emotional availability and truth. But I have to say, pun intended, <laughs> everybody has a lot to say here. That's incredibly clear. Look at this. Coming right here with our Ten of Wands, with our Knight of Cups. This person has some explaining to do. This is a conversation you've been waiting for. Look at the revealing energy, the moon with the lover's card. Do you know that they love you? Or is that something that they are revealing? Yeah, it's going to be coming out, I feel, but it's also, there's explanations as to, well, if you love me, then this, you know, like explanations that need to come out that obviously are coming out. The lover's card, Gemini energy, Venus, the planet of love. The lovers, of course, is connected to the heart chakra. This is Archangel Raphael, who just wants to heal what is broken. And Archangel Raphael is also connected to the throat chakra. I speak, the communication with the moon, that energy that was coming through really strong with the chariot of what's been hidden, dark to light, what needs to be revealed. Well, I still love you. I want to work this out. And this conversation that's coming between just even here and our, our two Knight of Swords energy, a divine feminine and divine masculine energy, Again, it's not about gender. Our King of Swords, Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. 
the Emperor, the Empress. We saw that coming in as well, the Nine of Cups. It's, this is definitely a conversation between the two of you, and there is some kind of decision here, Taurus. Here in our lover's card, you're making together. The moon, Pisces energy, also bringing through Cancer and Gemini. What's been hidden, things coming to fruition. The moon in charge of the tide, the emotions, a full moon illuminating. And again, you get out of that energy, by the way, the balanced energy here too, the yin yang energy here in our lover's card, dark to light here with the sun, a new cycle, working things out, wanting a happy outcome and not a part. It's an energy of, I want this with you energy. This is somebody who's, and of course, duh. <laughs> here is that apology. And yeah, and I, it's connected here to our queen, queen of pentacles in reverse. Just looking here with our queens, our queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, queen of wands in reverse, queen of pentacles in reverse. So a couple of things, queen of pentacles, you know, commitment, relationship, energy, queen of wands and the reversal energy, some lack of confidence, fear around, also commitment. So has that just been around commitment, around emotions and feelings of how much, how many, all the feelings that are here, afraid of next level, afraid of, you know, maybe when you, when I say next level, it could be things like introducing families, moving in together. It could be involving family energy of your own, you know, building a family, marriage, that sort of thing. So there is some energy in the past, kind of how you got here of this person having some fear around that. I also want it to validate that if this is somebody who is in some kind of vice energy, you could say overconsumption, money, people, things, that, yeah, that's also here. That's also maybe connected to some legal issues or some lying, that sort of thing. That is a real specific message that probably won't be for everybody. The Queen of, of Pentacles is like my my mini, my protege <laughs> to the Empress in reverse here. Look, and we saw the Empress coming in, but it, it's more of a validation for me around the imbalance that was going on with this person when they made the decisions that they made. Speaking of which, Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Sun and Capricorn energy. I haven't let you go. I'm trying to work this out. So something around the pentacles, which are commitments, relationships, partnerships, but they're also not just about people or money. It could be a lot of things. Again, it could be too singlehood. It could be too not wanting to give up a job or a location, vices, you know. But of course, we could be looking at other romantic energies or just someone that needs to, you know, this person that has needed to work this out. I mean, it's actually really incredibly clear. And it is connecting here with the past energy, and they may have been lying about that at the time. Yeah, our lovers, the emperor, the empress here, are two knight of swords energy that have a whole lot to say. It's Libra and Mercury energy. And Libra is connected to infinity. It's like uprighting this justice energy, truth, balance, and renewal. And the Knight of Swords energy, of course, Mercury, communication right here with the Six of Swords and the, the King of Swords kind of overseeing it. That's interesting. So definitely what you've been wanting in terms of them coming forward and communicating and being honest and open and apologizing. There's, but there is more. Is this is there an offer here? I feel like it's not so much. I mean, it could be actually, especially on well, that's when I didn't finish this message. Especially if that was something connecting in terms of like marriage or moving in because they 
could be that they're coming in and saying that to you. Do you know what I mean? Because there is an offer in the way that you're coming together and you're having a conversation of, of where are we going from here. Two people that have, have been, there are some intense energies. So two people who also intensely love each other and have been waiting for like the other to make the move, you know. And we see in this emperor energy, the person that's coming through here today, that it's their move they're making. And this is what I wanted to say to you. Look, our bird here, <laughs> the six of wands, as they want to get your attention, they're holding on to an olive branch. And that's the apology that I thought, yeah, well, where is it? There, it's here. They know that. It's in a nest, you know, which is holding possibilities for, for growth and, and, and what's building. Look, and there's money in here. So, of course, that could be a connection, but it's also a connection to pentacle energy. So, just abundance relationships. There's a dice here, kind of like taking a gamble L and luck. Like, here I come. Let's see how this works because the Six of Wands is Jupiter energy. And that is the planet of prosperity and expansion. And it's also connected to luck. It's turning point energy. It's a Wheel of Fortune energy as well. So wanting to get your attention and hoping really that I guess you could say timing and luck is on your side, on the side of this connection, because you still love each other for sure. And this is a conversation that is happening and it's going to change everything. Let's look into some Oracle. I'm not reading it in reverse. I just want to move the energy a little more. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Taurus needs to see. Aho. Why? Questions answered. Look right here. Yeah. With some of the dishonesty, is it truth by omission or just outright lying? Ace of Swords in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Devil card. Look. All connecting with the communication. Six of Swords, King of Swords. Two Knight of Swords, our Princess and our Prince, the Three of Pentacles, Wish Fulfillment. Yeah, there is definitely, there has been a fear around this person too. Maybe it's just a fear of some kind of truths around the past or what they were doing or other people. Do you know what I mean? The Devil Energy, the Justice in Reverse. Because that Magician in Reverse Energy connected to the what happened, the Ten of Swords, is connected here to the Devil too. So... Definitely, yeah, it's definitely all connected. And there's answers here in the why look. So the foundation is here. There's just no walls for areas of support and stability, mentally, emotional, physical, and spiritual. And here with our emperor, who of course is a four, is coming with them. It's a manifesting energy as well. It's like coming here to, to make it happen, you know. It's like uprighting the magician, really, because this is somebody who just really, uh, throwing it away seems really harsh to say, but it just feels that way. Answers being had in this conversation. Where are we going from here? Look, Because the foundation is here. The sun is still up, out, illuminating, showing, yeah, what needs to be discussed past, the current, the, po the possibility, the future energy poised and ready for a new start look. This is coming to a three. It's a divine number. Divine timing, communication, beginning, middle, end, life, death, rebirth. You can see the wings of fate are up and ready to, to take off kind of energy ready for what's next unfinished business yeah actually it's wanting to go here this is the conversation nothing's going to change unless this conversation is had you know that much is just really really clear look at our our knight of swords is connecting here right with the knight of cups so again there is an apology in there there's truth in there there's feelings in there i love you there's explanations, there's answers to questions, 
Is there something more? Proposal energy. Unfinished. So what does that mean for you? Getting to the next level? Going back in? Or see, I would normally say to you closure, but I don't feel the closure energy here <laughs> at all. It's, it's two people that the Semper and the Sempress energy that love each other but really need to communicate. Make some, some, definitely the apologies, a healing energy and making peace energy. When musical instruments and notes are in my reading, it's, it's a really strong sign of restoring some harmony. Yeah, look, mending right here with the moon, with the revealing energy, with the lover's card, the six of wands. The communication, you're both here too. Yeah, everybody is here with their needles and their thread. Mending, it's like a, um, what's the, why am I suddenly just calling it a banner? It's, I forget the name of it. <laughs> anyway, but mending it here. And where was that energy? Yeah, look, it's here and poised, it's here and why? community okay so this is a coming together energy and for some of you there there is a strong energy of other people we could be looking at family of origin perhaps for some of you there's a family of your own it's not for everybody for sure but it is a coming together energy and again it can be that this is at an event if that's possible you can see there's a, a like a parent giraffe and a little baby giraffe here in this teepee, this hut, sort of like a housing energy. They're coming together, communities, so family, people, locations. We could be looking at, yes, yeah, there's something here for some of you in connection that has to do with, with locations, with somebody needing to change a location. Definitely a possibility, but I will tell you this is coming together for sure. And it could be for a lot of you that it's coming together at an event around other people. Also not for everybody that it's around other people, but it's definitely the energy here is just really, really clear of coming together. I'm liking this too. Look, making peace. The apology. Look, there's the olive branch again. The one we see here as well. And our six of wands hearts and stars, the spiritual energy here, both in our egg and in our dove, coming here away from the conflicting energy of the clouds, the lack of insight, the lack of, yeah, clarity, getting away from that, holding on to this olive branch here and apologizing. It's way more than an apology here, but that is long overdue. Loyal heart and milk and honey. What more can I say? You're facing each other. <laughs> Owls are Scorpios. They can hold back a lot of emotions, but they're there. I'll tell you what, you know, it's guardian of the night, the divine energy. They're up when, when we're not kind of working behind the scenes. I definitely feel like there's some strategy here. And look at this. An elephant is a Taurus. Taurus <laughs> connected to family and, and the earth energy. It's an upturned trunk, which is a very positive energy, a happy energy, good luck, you could say, fertility. New beginnings, the family energy here is really strong for those of you that are that were in that energy together or heading toward it. The hopeful energy of the rainbow, the milk and honey of things, yeah, prospering and working out here. I'm really liking this energy. Now, this is what's funny about this <laughs> because it really is this emperor, empress energy for me today, which is strong because it's too, it's like power couple energy, but intense, you know? When things are working, it's they're working. And when they're not, it's like they're not. <laughs> there's an intensity around it. But there's the love here. There's a loyalty between you. You both have the crown here. So for sure, making this decision, where did our, there we go, our lover's card. Hearing each other out, you both have a lot to say. 
There's a lot to say here, but there's a lot of listening going on too. And there's a lot of potential, obviously, for where this is going to go. We can both wear the crown, everybody being heard. I mean, that's like, this is really power couple energy, the emperor and the empress, but it's also a soft energy too. And it's a loving energy and a knowing energy. The tarot closet channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. I dream about a future with you. Milk and honey, loyal heart, mending, repairing, healing the relationship, the lover's card. Are you thinking about me? When you know, you know. Can you hear me whisper your name? Do you miss me the way I miss you? I never should have let you go. New cycle, that unfinished symphony. Our meeting was no accident. Fate and destiny. It's hard to face the truth. Justice in reverse. The lover's card, the emperor, getting ready to face the truth and, and face the music too, <laughs> literally. Our knight of swords, our princess swords, prince swords, unfinished business, king of swords. The lovers coming together, mending. Yeah, face the music, do you know what I mean? Judgment energy, big time. When something good happens, I immediately want to write you. Thinking about you keeps me going. I fell in love with you. Every time my phone vibrates, I hope to God it's you. I want to grow old with you. I wish I could come and take you away. Poised and where it is is poised and ready. The tarot closet, love messages. These are kind of just coming off. Is that it? I am so lost without you. I am waking up. There's that judgment energy. Yeah, it's definitely here. Connecting us to the crown chakra, I know. Whoa! And Archangel Gabriel connected to the root chakra, I am. We'll look at those in just a moment. As well as the third eye chakra, I see the self-awareness. What do you want? Make a decision, wake up. Reconciliation. Bringing not just an apology, but asking for forgiveness. They're getting clear. They're getting honest with themselves and they're bringing that to you. So yeah, definitely making this decision to come. That's been really, really clear in all the energy today. My world is dark without you. You are the love of my life. I dream of you. Where did our moon go? I'm going to set it here for now. I made so many mistakes. Can you feel my love? The tarot closet channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. Love notes. We were meant to meet. I have so many regrets. I never should have let you go. I'm trying to send you a message abundantly clear. You are my person. I'm putting it there with the lover's card. We were destined to meet. Fate and destiny. When you know, you know. 
I was stupid. I was stupid. I never should have let you go. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Here with mending. Here with the peace energy. Over here, the Six of Wands. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I love you. Can you feel my love right here with the lover's card? Please forgive me. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self, Taurus. I reread our messages. It's like six of cups energy, sun and Scorpio, page of swords, awake at night, literally looking at their phone. Maybe it's literal messages for some of you, your computer, maybe in some messenger chats, however you communicate, like looking at messages here, seeing what they missed. Answers that they're also searching for because there's a lot to be said here. There's a lot left unsaid and there's a lot to say that, I don't know, maybe you don't even realize. It just feels like a lot needs to be said. Taurus, that is your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you also for liking today's video, subscribing to the Tarot Closet, sharing the video or videos, the channel if you're inspired to do so. I appreciate it. I'm sending you love as always and looking forward to channeling for you again soon. Until then, bye Taurus.